All right, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Calabrese Auto Detail. And in today's video, I wanna show you the best generator for mobile detailers. So let's take a look here. This is the one I have, the Predator 3500. And you can get this at Harbor Freight for about 900 bucks. And you can get an extended plan where they'll replace it after two years or something for an extra 150. I opted out of that because at that point you can just buy a new one if you need to. So I'm also going to be showing some of my equipment that I run off of this generator and uh, why I really like it. I have here the air compressor and my vacuum and we run those at the same time you blow out the carpets with the air compressor. You can see the Tornador gun there and the vacuum at the same time and this, this powers it no problem. And then here is my shampoo machine that's like a smaller vacuum and also the steamer. I don't use the steamer too often, but this powers it as well, no problem. And then the air hose and an ozone machine up there. So let's go around the side. So we have the power washer, which gets powered as well with the pump that sucks the water out of the tank. That gets, both of those get plugged into the generator. And I'll give an example of everything running at once um, in this video as well. So those two things run off the generator at the same time. So let's go back around. The thing I really like about this generator is, I'll show you the back here. Kind of tight back here, but what you see here is the push to start. So that's a really cool feature. So what you do here is you turn this to run when it's warm try to get it to focus and then start when it's cold but right now after we did the details all day I could probably just leave it on run press this button here which will start it up So from back here, I mean it's a little loud because I have it on full, there's like an eco mode and a regular mode, and this is the regular mode, but I usually keep it on regular mode when I'm plugging in all my equipment. So I'm going to start plugging everything in and showing you guys how it all works at once. I got the vacuum and the air compressor running at the same time and it's powering it up no problem so I'll unplug those two and show you the power washer So you could hear over here, it's not as loud. We were just like right where the exhaust was. But if you come back here, usually I back into the car, like this is where we're mainly working out of, out of the back here. So I have the, the pump plugged into it right now and the pressure washer. And we have plenty of water in here, but take this out, see nice on a hose reel. And then I turn this on like this. And then you spray like this. So that's all running off of the generator. And I tried, I tried running this, um, the pump, and the power washer at the same time with the vacuum, and it automatically tripped the generator. So 
so it has like safety features built in. So everything that I have in the van, we usually do these two at once. So we'll wash the car with this. And then once we're done with that, then we'll plug in the vacuum and the air compressor. So that's the Harbor Freight Generator 3500. Let me show you how to turn it off. so now it's not as loud but I if you you want to unplug everything first before you turn off the generator it'll just last longer and you want to change the oil every 30 to 50 hours and clean the spark arrestor too but I mean it's been great so far and um, like I said it powers everything that I need it to you just have to be careful not plugging too many things at the same time but this is also like kind of a detailing setup video a lot of people ask me about my setup so we'll just go through it as well so right here we have the spray bottles you know all they're all different colors so we don't really have to label them this is iron remover all-purpose cleaner uh formula four spray wax another spray wax ceramic spray wax another all-purpose carpet cleaner tire shine wheel brightener and then this is for o and r i'll just switch out one of the the heads for it i know it's a little messy but like i said we worked all day then i got the ik foamer wheel bucket wash bucket gas can and some foam cannons back there we got a leaf blower hoses for the shampoo machine back these two a longer ladder which we don't need that often the, this big thing right here is all the towels, so I'll hop up. This is where we keep all the clean towels. That one's a little dirty. We use that on the wheels. And then a hose rail. Here we have some brushes. So everything's very functional and high efficiency. We'll do a full detail. Inside and out, shampoo, wax, everything in about an hour and a half, me and my employee. We got all the gallons here, or shampoo. Formula 4, APC, spray wax, wheel brightener, uh, snake oil, purple power, zap truck and trailer. And then back we got some leather conditioner and uh, shampoo for uh, carpet. And that's everything else. And then like miscellaneous, you know, specialty sprays up there and polishes and stuff. And then the towels as well. It's a bit messy. I got to organize it tomorrow morning. Usually in the morning is when I do my organization for the day little thing right here so all the all the like the cords here they're not labeled but i know which one goes to what and for the power washer and the pump that there's an extension cord that runs under the tank and over here that i plug into and then the rest is right here basically and i i just put the generator on the side here usually i would have it on the back and if i had it in my old spot where i had the other generator it wouldn't like I wouldn't be able to access like the start and stop from back here because it like wouldn't fit in this little area so that's why I put it on the side now but I used to have the Generac GP 3500 and it was like a pull start and just the push the start is so much easier and I also got to show you guys how I fill up my tank I know I keep walking back and forth but there's a lot to go over you know we got the gorilla ladder here. It's like more of a platform ladder. And it's about, I would say, three feet tall, maybe a little less. And uh, usually we could reach the top of most vehicles. And then this here, you plug in a hose and it fills up the water tank. So that's my mobile detailing setup and review of the Predator 3500. I think it's a great generator for mobile detailers. And a lot of people ask me, you know what's your setup look like you know you look very efficient and uh everything like that so this is it this is also my detailing cart which is a mess got all kinds of stuff up here towels glass cleaner new car smell gloves drills new towels clamps everything so this i just roll out it's like basically an extra shelf that i keep inside the van as well um you know it's very dirty in here like look at that it's gross 
but it's a work van. You know, at the end of the day, the goal is to have the client's vehicles look nice, not the inside of my own for now. Every every few weeks and months, I, I clean out the inside of this, but it's just, you can only do so much. The last thing you want to do when you get home from detailing all day is detail your own vehicle. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. All the support. We're at, like almost 1200 subscribers which is sick and uh gotta get that watch time up a little bit then we'll start making money from youtube so thank you guys for watching leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one